As we're looking at this he live helicopter shot, you're looking towards the west. As you can see that turn in uh, turn number one, that's a rolling start. That's where Sebastian will uh, conquer. And then uh, as we uh, get this camera to come around, now looking directly to the south, as you're looking at the start line here, high above us, we can hear the helicopter uh, getting ready for Sebastian Loeb's run here on Pikes Peak. The uh, 156 turns await him to get to the summit of Pikes Peak. And as we await, uh, they still have the tires off of Sebastian Loeb's car. As soon as they put those on and they start that engine up, you will be watching it live right here on Red Bull. TV. Let's go up to the summit right now where the uh, champions, you can see Sebastian getting ready to climb into his rig and uh, make his way up in that uh, just an unbelievable uh, Peugeot 208 T16. And his team has done an excellent job preparing the car, getting it ready uh, for this uh, event that everybody is watching around the world. And as we await and uh, get him climbing inside the car. There you see the inside of this Peugeot. You're going to see all the angles as uh, Sebastian's going to be uh, climbing in there and tackling the 156 turns that await him here at Pikes Peak. Some last minute uh, discussion going on right now and uh, you got to wonder what's going through his mind. Obviously a accomplished driver and uh, but never been on Pikes Peak and so when you're when you're here for the first time that is when it gets really interesting. Absolutely. Incredible vehicle, one of the best to ever uh, dawn uh, the, the, the roads here uh, in, on Pikes Peak, going over 160 miles per hour. Uh, and, and there you see the interior camera of uh, the, the last minute preparations for uh, Team Peugeot to uh, get things going. I mean, when you look at this for the first time, you'll see the reactions of, uh, of uh, you know, one of po quite possibly one of the best drivers to ever come to Pikes Peak. Of course, we have many superstars that are here today. They uh, are all together a fraternity. You know, it's interesting as you just uh, watch Sebastian getting prepared to do his thing. He does have oxygen. And all that footage that we saw earlier in the broadcast of all the the back stories and getting this car prepared and the testing they were doing uh, on that beautiful mountain in France. Um, you know, here's a guy that is coming. We've talked about fitness all morning long, but here's a guy that's coming and it's probably very, very fit. He's been in the World Rally Championship. He's won nine championships there. He hasn't been competing this year, but a super fit athlete. He is donning the oxygen. And I'm surprised that we don't see uh, more drivers doing that. Even some of the guys on the bikes, they, they've got the, the camelbacks and things like that. Stay hydrated. Get, get the oxygen you need. I'm very excited for this run, but I have to tell you, I'm excited to watch uh, the, the run of Greg Tracy in the electric car. Uh, Hiroshi Meskoya in the electric car. Simone Pagano uh, in an electric minivan, a Honda. These are the, the technologies and the, the efforts that we're seeing coming to Pikes Peak. And that really, as exciting as this run is going to be for me, I'm excited to see the whole class. And the next guy to go will be our stage mate from a little while ago, Roman Dumas. Absolutely. Fantastic driver, America Le Mans series, a champion at Le Mans. Really? So, the whole the whole class is exciting. Uh, Sebastian Loeb, as you can see, is he's getting ready as they um, are, uh, have taken and selected the tires that they're going to be putting on. Uh, it's amazing all, all the science that goes into uh, you know making a world record attempt in what many people believe that is going to be in the eight minute club. I mean, if you look at that uh, possibility, it it absolutely has to be flawless. The weather conditions uh, are not a factor so far. The clouds are moving in. It's been sunny all day today. So the, the good news is for uh, everyone that's starting right now is that you have the ability to, to drive on a dry surface. 156 turns later, will we have a new world record holder in the unlimited uh, division, uh, a division that for many years was dominated by Monster Tajima, now driving in the, in the electric, uh, 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 electric division. You look at the possibility of getting that eight minute mark, eight minutes, 20 and change. It has to go absolutely perfect from start to finish in each section, as you can hear them putting the vehicle's uh, tires on right now. It has to go uh, anywhere in the two minute uh, neighborhood from the first section to the next section. There's four sections basically here on Pikes Peak. Well, with 800 horsepower and Sebastian's incredible talents i'm sure there's some wiggle room there's some gray area in there 
the preparation that this team has brought and the whole team's effort is mean, now here is we like to say in the motor racing world they have fired the Peugeot engine in anger so they'll warm the car and then Sebastian will go do his thing um, only time will tell Dan and we'll yep. know in about nine ten minutes or so but I think that uh, they came for one reason and one reason only is now Sebastian Loeb approaches the starting line of what could be a new world record run. When we go to this in, inboard camera, you're going to hear the uh, the switching of the gears. You're going to hear the the switching of the gears. You're going to hear the roar of the engine. You're going to watch it all live here. Everyone gathering around the monitors. Uh, what could be uh, one of the fastest times ever to be conquered on Pike's Peak. And here we go. You're watching it live right now on Red Bull TV. Red Bull TV and around uh, corner number one that was where corner number one it was so much trouble for Paul Dahlenbach and uh, around number one making it just fine this is a live aerial shot right now coming down the course will this be the day that Sebastian Loeb sets a new world record on Pikes Peak in 2013 in the 91st running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb as you're seeing it all live right now on Red Bull TV Obviously, we talk a lot about Sebastian, but this has really been a team effort. We, we have to look at the whole effort from start to finish, the preparation, the build out of this car, the, the testing, all the, the stuff that you don't see that goes into what could be an, an eight minute showcase. So literally, as we have the whole team surrounding us here in our broadcast platform here at the base of Pikes Peak uh, at start line, about 9,200 feet, everybody is intently watching as uh, we are getting tremendous shots overhead absolutely and, and, and i'll tell you when you look at this uh, as fast as this vehicle is going uh, one of the first glimpses of uh, the ability to see this all happening live and on your screen for the very first time and it just gives you an indication how fast these uh, cars can uh, make their way up it was hard to identify exactly what corner that was it was a left hander though but it did look like sebastian pushed wide he had a lot of a lot of a lack of front end grip his line there was probably not the one that he really preferred but again with 800 horsepower and his talent there's some wiggle room there, Dan, and we're gonna we're gonna watch it all happen right now as the second car of Roman Dumont now fires yep. as he will approach the start line. Around uh, that corner, coming up uh, to Glen Cove, and then obviously Sebastian Loeb is gonna need to get all the speed in this area because he will be in that area where he's gonna start to come along the ragged edge and go up to the summit of Pikes Peak through the W's some of the big hair, hair pin turns that Sebastian Loeb is going to have to conquer. And then very soon, Dumas, Dumas is going to be also uh, trying to conquer the uh, turns here on Pikes Peak as you're seeing it all live right now, coming up to an area of the, of the race course that is near 16 mile. And I'll tell you, as you watch this right now and the trees go flying by, the speed of upwards of 160 miles per hour is by Sebastian Loeb, the uh, freshman driving the uh, Joe Ford 208 T16. Around the corner he goes, and up now coming to uh, the area of Glen Cove. And I'll tell you, this is, again, the area of Pikes Peak where if you're going to set a record, you have to be in the area set to set that record in this section of the of the highway because you're not going to gain speed as you're going up in, into those uh, higher elevations. I want to really especially watch the W's as he goes up the 16 mile and then up to bottomless pit. I think this is an area where Sebastian and the horsepower is really going to shine. I, Danny, I tend to disagree with you a bit. I think uh, the, the reason they've come with so much horsepower and the turbocharged uh, application, you heard them short shifting it here off the start line. I think this might be an effort that really is designed to, and I'm guessing to push midway to the top you're all you're watching it live here on Red Bull TV Sebastian Lowe making his way up now going past Glen Cove he's going to be coming up to a ragged edge this is going to be the uh, first park it's called Elk uh, Park and if you're watching uh, and, and you have your maps out you can see what's left for this what Sebastian Loeb hopes to be a record-breaking record, record, uh, record breaking and record-setting 
attempt. He's going to be coming up to Ragged Edge. You can see everybody. Is everybody excited about this run? <laughs> is there excitement in the air? There, oh, there, there is. we go. There's excitement right now. And they're coming up. Uh, Sebastian Loeb coming up to Ragged Edge right now. And as you, as you see the uh, turn around uh, to get to Ragged Edge, this is when you're on this part of uh, Pikes Peak, directly to the driver's right is uh, the, the, the straight down the mountain. And, and he's coming up to the W's, which is uh, he's either going to make it or break it in this area, Kurt. Well, it's Mike Hall, and uh, he's heading up to an area last year where we had that big off by the Mitsubishi team. And a lot of guys don't like this area of the racetrack. Uh, we've not talked to Sebastian about this in particular, but uh, as Roman on out, heads up to the start line here, Sebastian now heading up into the area with they had the big off with the Mitsubishi guys last year. And that's enjoyable. I, I appreciate that. We've got the power and we've got the helicopter. Now you can see Sebastian Loeb coming up to the uh, second leg, the second cut of the uh, W's. He's going to be coming up to 16 mile. He's already passed Ragged Edge. Sebastian Loeb driving the uh, Peugeot Sport 208 T16. Is he going to set a new world record? Only time will tell. He had some difficulties a little bit of, in, in the beginning of the uh, section one. But as you can see right now, he is uh, definitely making his way up the uh, mountain here at Pikes Peak. I've We've seen it before, Kurt. We've seen the competitors. What's going through their mind at this particular uh, part of right, here we go. Uh, Pikes Peak? Up to the flatironstuning.com, yep. 16 mile, the critical left hand or that it will take him up to Devil's Playground, then the bottomless pit. He's going up to Devil, Devil's Playground as Look well. Look at the crowd at Playground. Holy Devil's cow. Playground absolutely packed year in and year out. And again, if he's not going to have the speed coming through the Ws, this is where he can really make it up as he's coming up to uh, the upper part, to upper uh, gravel pit he's approaching, and he's already passed uh, mile, uh, 19 mile here on Pikes Peak Highway. And this is a very critical area because we're above tree line now. You lose some reference points. You're literally looking off into the sky. It's an area that maybe for a first timer, certainly with Sebastian's talents, I hope that doesn't come into play. But for a first timer, as you come above tree line, you lose all reference points. You're literally driving into the sky. And a lot of these corners do fall away. They're decreasing radius. Uh, it's a very challenging point, but I think this is where this guy's really going to shine. No question about it. You can see the consternation of, uh, of the people when uh, they, they switch back to the camera to us. We have the, uh, the helicopter obviously geared up, and we're going to uh, hopefully get reacquainted with the helicopter here shortly as uh, the last check he's going to be coming up to Gravel Pit, which is an area up on top of Devil's Playground where uh, Sebastian Loeb is going to be able to reach some big-time speed through here. You can see there's not so much... Uh, section of the highway that you have any danger on the right or left of going over uh, the side of the cliff and you can see that he is really picking up this big time speed coming up as we're approaching the summit of Pikes Peak he's going to be coming around Boulder Park up to Olympic there's a couple of hair pin turns there and then it's up to the summit and hopefully uh, what he ho hopes is going to be a record-setting attempt. Well, we just heard Roman Dumas take off the American Le Mans Series driver and Le Mans 24-hour champion. Uh, Sebastian now approaching the summit. In the days of old, bottomless pit area, when it was gravel, especially the right-handers, you're carrying big-time speed up there. You could hook that right front, uh, much like a flat tracker or an off-road racer, to help the car rotate, help it turn. Can't do that anymore. It's all paved. So different lines and a different time here at the Pikes Peak International. Hill climb. And I'll tell you, they got everybody lined up in the uh, in the Unlimited, and there you see Sebastian Loeb uh, making his way up to the finish line of the historic race track here at the 91st running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Sebastian Loeb is now crossed the finish line. Now we await to see what the time will be here in the 91st running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Will it be enough to set a new world record and be in the first time ever? Eight minute club, only time will tell. Let's go, let's go up right now and uh, get Jim. By all appearances, Bye. could it be improved? Uh, for sure, it's a, it's a great time. I, I knew I'm, I'm able to do 8.15. Uh, I, I knew 8.20 would be a good time too. And uh, so, so, okay, it was a, 
a lot of pressure on the start because you know you have to achieve a big project that a lot of people are behind and working too. So now we are in the, in the snow now. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so okay. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the the time I achieved because when I I, I sitting in the car, I had really a good feeling again, and I pushed really hard from the start to the end. No mistake. Uh, I went on the limit nearly everywhere, so I think the time is really good. You referenced a massive effort by Peugeot, Michelin, Red Bull. How much in American dollars did this effort cost? Yeah, uh, in American dollar, I, I have no idea. But uh, how many euros? I have no idea. Also, but uh, for sure, it's uh, it's a big project. We have also Total, which is following the project. So. I was happy that Peugeot called me uh, to to take part in in this project, and uh, it was. Uh, but I cannot answer your question. I don't know. <laughs> well, we are certainly happy to have you. Uh, this event has brought international acclaim, and this event, as you know, is better known in Japan and Europe than it is in the United States. But it's a unique, one-off event that's held nowhere else in the world. Not in New Zealand. Not on Mount Washington not anywhere that we're aware of. And so uh, congratulations once again to nine-time world rally champion Sebastian Loeb. Thank you. And what I think which is really special here is uh, that you climb to 400, 3,000 uh, meter and uh, the regulation is free. So you drive some cars which are amazing and the feeling to drive these roads with a car like that is, is incredible. So it's incredible. So really happy to score this record. and. And we'll see in the future, it will be, it's a good one. Thanks again very much, Sebastian Loeb in the 208 Peugeot. Absolutely blistering time, never before seen on Pike's Peak. We knew he was fast in practice. He went as fast as 825 in practice. But today, on race day, when it counts, it's an official record. 8 minutes, 13 seconds, 978. That is, ladies and gentlemen, fast. That is over 85 miles an hour average from the start to the finish of this 12 and a half mile course.